Hello, it's July 2022, and each time I go to remember a quote for this video, to say it, it just pops out of my head, so I'm going to leave it right here. And it's by Thomas Sowell, or Sowell, depending on how you want to pronounce his name. And what he talks about is how, for example, the elitist types, third parties to other people's lives, think that they're smarter, better, uh, whatever, to make decisions for other people. Because they're more human than human. I've highlighted over the years how people obtain various positions of authority and automatically become more human than human by default. And I've also highlighted how people will get, for example, a degree in something so that their opinion carries more weight than the common person. And then amongst their own kind in that whatever discipline, for example, the liberal arts, theoretical pseudoscience of psychology, they'll argue amongst themselves, but then they'll have their own little hierarchy because, well, oh, you wrote three books, I only wrote two books, so you, you know, and all this other nonsense. So, you know, they will try to establish who has, whose opinion has more weight with them themselves. But people, for some strange reason, have this desire to control others, to micromanage. And we see this with government and how government, more times than not, not only is destructive to an individual's life, but to society as a whole. And you really have to wonder about the type of people who are making these decisions and imposing on the rest. You really have to wonder where, like, where they're coming from, like where, where they get these ideas from. Because, I mean, a lot of times a, a public school child can say, "Hey, that's stupid," right? But I mean, whatever. But we can trace all this back to how I've stated many times how the lesser of the human gene pool have become the majority. And when I say lesser, that's partly defined as those who lack critical thinking skills, who lack an extensive knowledge base, and who cannot separate emotions when making conclusions. And there's obviously more to it, but those are the three primary uh, descriptives to describe the lesser. So these people compounded with being brainwashed by social justice mo movements, for example. And we have a recipe for disaster because these people in their youth absorb nonsense, fiction, accept it as fact, and then they take that and impose it in the real world. And this is how we get things imposed on people, whether it be law, some silly law or whatever, and micromanaging. You have the hunger for power. instead of just letting people just carry on with their lives. See, normal people, your average person, your commoner, they just want to get through the day, you know, and for example, support their family, be with their family and friends, have some good times, and you know, just get through life. But there are some people, that's not good enough, that's, that's boring, they, they want something more. These people who want more, who impose, for example, injustice, say for example with my case, they impose injustice, they destroyed my life. For whatever reason each person had, they did so. But here's the question, then what? Now these people and say, well, nothing. Then what? I just continue living my life and your life is screwed. Who cares? Okay. 
well, then what doesn't end there, but whatever. But these people who want to impose the same kind of injustice, for example, or whatever, on a nation, on the world, then what? When does it stop? When does that hunger, that negativity stop? And then what? What happens then? Everyone is conforming to the stupidest little thing that's being imposed. No one's stepping out of line. Well, then what? Well, we know then what. We try to make it harder and harder and, and, and make things up. It becomes boring. Instead of just letting it all go. Not feeding the negativity. The busybody. Along with the person who cried wolf, all these types of people, the tattletales. 40, 50 years ago, these types of people, they had, they had like nursery rhymes condemning them because these are people unwanted socially. It is now the people that are praised socially by their own kind. The busybody imposing and they can't see the harm that they're doing anyway I just thought I'd share some some thoughts on this thank you for watching please like subscribe comment and share Listen to this and write it down if you can't remember it. You're never going to outgrow warfare. You simply must learn to fight. I hear people saying to me, oh, when is it going to get easier? When you die.